What's going on guys, Bonin here and we've got another brand new mod for you on the Chernerus map to add to the list of stuff like DayZ Mercenary and DayZ Epoch. This one is called DayZ Civilian and it promises lots of new features, stuff like nighttime lighting, which I think is in a couple of mods already, more weapons, more ammo, even though they have said they are going to limit the amount of ammo throughout the map, but there is a lot more variety of weapons, even more than Breaking Point, which We'll uh, have to see if that's true or not. It was also promising some new zombie models, some of which you may have seen in mods such as DayZ Origins. Lots of new skins to use. I'm hoping that it's going to be less civilian skins and having had a playthrough, which I'll talk about in a second, I didn't find any military skins, but I did find a couple of civilian skins, so that's really good. So that's one, uh, you know, it's called DayZ Civilian, so it'd be nice to actually have some civilian influence there. The other thing they promised initially was that there'd be a lot more zombies in the towns and cities, particularly places like Cherno, where there should be around, you know, over 100 zombies. I think they quoted 160 zombies and a similar number in Electro. Now, since that initial announcement, they have had to reduce that. I think it's just due to lag and latency issues. Basically, I don't think the Armour 2 engine is going to be able to handle that many zombies unless you've got some sort of supercomputer. It's just not very well optimised, as we all know, and this is something which we're all waiting for in standalone. These uh, promised thousands of zombies, which will initially spawn in the server, so... It's not a surprise I've had to scale that down. It looks like it's down to normal zombie levels. As you can probably see by the footage, it's nothing special. They have also added new buildings to each of the cities. You've got some big skyscrapers, along with some of the buildings, which again, you may recognise from some maps. I think I saw one from Sarani, which I recognise, which is Armour 1. But there are some new maps, sorry, new maps, new buildings, which I haven't seen before, uh, which we'll go into in a second. So let's talk about how you go about installing this. They have released it on DayZ Commander, which is a, a big relief for a lot of people who don't want to download an external launcher. It's just standard DayZ Commander. It's quite a big file though. The file came in at 1.9 gigabytes, so that's almost two gigabytes for a DayZ mod, which I believe is the biggest out there. I know Taviana and Origins were getting close to two gigabytes, but this is a, certainly the, the biggest I've downloaded. And for the amount of stuff you get in, it's not going to be worth it for everyone, particularly people with low download limits. You know, some people have a limit they can download per month, so a bit disappointing, but they are adding a lot of stuff, so you can see why it was such a big download. Other than Cherno and Electro, probably the biggest area of the map they have developed is actually the Northwest Airfield. It's, it's an area which not a lot of people look at. Sometimes people might put an extra barracks in when they're developing a different mod for Chinaris. But on DayZ Civilian, they've added a good 10, 15, 20 buildings on there. And it does actually add some interesting elements to the Northwest Airfield. On a full server, it would make the Northwest Airfield really difficult and dangerous to loot. They've got these big towers, as you can see, with the with blinds on top. And if you open one of these blinds, you can get such a good view on places like the South Barracks, the South Hill, which a lot of people snipe on. You can also go down the other end of the airfield and get a good view over to the north side of the airfield. So if if this mod takes off and people are going up there, you've got a lot more places to check for snipers and uh, other bandits around. On the subject of snipers though, I did play for quite a few hours today and I didn't find any snipers at all. Uh, despite the fact some people were complaining about how many weapons there are, um, I looted three barracks and a few fire stations and all the new military buildings at the Northwest Airfield. And the best weapon I found was actually, it was called an AK-104, uh, which is kind of funny actually because I picked it up and then I realized it didn't take AK rounds. So, and I also found an M16, but no, no sniper rifles. I might have just been unlucky, but it's definitely scaled down a lot from breaking point, which is quite the opposite way. You've got lots of military weapons and it does make it a bit more just like playing armor basically with a persistent life. So, uh, that's good, at least I've stuck to that. They haven't made it too military based, despite some people's concerns. And for a lot of people, it, it might be one to you'll really enjoy because it's it's more, uh, if you are going to be in doing PvP action, it's more about short range, assault rifles, AKs versus M16s. And uh, it's a lot more fair, you're not just going to get killed by someone who's half a mile away who you can't even see. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. That was DayZ Civilian out today on DayZ Commander. Like I said, a 1.7 gigabyte 
download and uh, there's about two or three servers up at the moment but expect more to be open in the near future. Uh, there were all American servers by the way just to let you know so if you're coming from Europe or the UK I was getting about 140 ping but it was still playable so uh, definitely worth checking out. Hope you've enjoyed anyway if you've enjoyed the video I've got lots more guides and videos plus some squad play videos on my channel and if, uh, if you want to chat to me on Twitter I'm on Twitter at Bowden Movies. Anyway, hope you all have a very good day, and I'll see you all very soon.